In this video today, I am going to be showing you some options for organizing your student uh, work area. Please keep in mind that your student work area just needs to be a place where you can work with as little distraction as possible and you want to keep your materials organized and easily accessible. So. These are just examples and yours might look totally different and you can utilize whatever space you have. But the important part is to actually have that space, either a desk or a table where you're gonna be sitting to do your work. You don't wanna be sprawled out in your bed. That's not allowed. Uh, you don't want to be in a really loud place with TVs and other distractions going on. So try to find a quiet spot and these are just a couple examples that I have. I'm gonna be real, real with you. This is my house and I'm showing you our student work areas. So we have one computer set up here and this one is pretty nice. He got the nice big desk, but uh, the nice thing that you wanna keep in mind as well, you're gonna need some space to like write down things and do work because not everything is going to be done on the computer so keep that in mind make sure you have some space that's you know decluttered cleared off make sure that there's writing space available for your student and then um, this is another option this one you know a much smaller desk you can pick up a nice small desk like this pretty inexpensive uh, we put this together ourselves, and uh, wasn't too difficult. But notice that it has a little compartment on the bottom, which I like so that we can store some folders or books or things in there. And then we also still keep in mind, we need that decluttered open space so that you have room, you know, if you need to write things down, work on some paper and book kind of things that aren't actually on the computer. So that is another option. Uh, this, Yes, I told you I was gonna be very real with you. <laughs> this is actually inside the closet because that's where we have space left for it. And uh, this is a little bookshelf and it just has their books and binders, things like that that they're gonna need. So make sure you have a space for them to keep their books, folders, binders, things like that. And then another thing that we do actually have in this room is over here we have these little uh, drawers and so there's all kinds of things stored inside of here um, that they're possibly going to need for school you know our markers and colored pencils and highlighters and things like that we've also got um, some extra copy paper for the printer we've got extra lined paper uh, for writing notebooks things like that and then this one is uh, just a little tiny version, which I thought was very useful because we've sorted all the pens and the pencils and we even have mechanical pencils with extra lid. Uh, so anything that they're going to need, just make sure you have a space for it. These are nice and inexpensive. You can pick them up at, you know, Walmart or Target, but if you had multiple kids, these are pretty compact and each one could have their set of drawers where you can organize the materials by child or like we do we just kind of share those supplies those are kind of shared between the children so that they know where extra paper is extra pencils things like that so i hope that that was helpful again you know everybody's space is going to look different but just getting creative and making sure that you get it organized and you have that space for school is super important.